I would like to talk to you about management of conjunctival nevus. Most conjunctival nevi are detected in young children, and generally this requires general anesthesia for surgical removal. You can note the nevus at the limbus left eye along the three o'clock meridian with feeder vessels and intrinsic telangiectatic vessels. The first step is a drying maneuver where we dry the corneal epithelium immediately adjacent to the nevus and apply absolute alcohol. We use the corneal epitheliectomy technique to obtain tumor-free margins on the corneal side. With this technique, we use a 57 beaver blade. I like to use the toe or the base of the blade, carefully lifting the epithelium off Bowman's membrane. We then excise with a two millimeter wide margin using the no touch technique, meaning we never touch the tumor. We're always handling normal conjunctiva outside the tumor. We take our incision through conjunctiva and Tienon's fascia down to bare sclera, as we don't know how deep the nevus extends. We are now cauterizing any feeder vessels. And then we will excise the tumor base using partial lamellar scleroconjunctivectomy technique. I take very little sclera, especially in children. I use the 57 blade and I go from the corneal side out to the bulbar side because this reduces the risk of causing Bowman's membrane damage. I take the entire tumor off, never regrasping, always holding on the normal conjunctiva. Once it's completely removed from the surface of the eye, we place it on a piece of cardboard, flattening it out and then we discard those instruments and bring in fresh instruments for closure. The first step in closure is cauterizing any vessels on the episcleral surface. Then we open Tienon's fascia using curved Stevens scissors. We use double freestyle cryotherapy to the resected margins we like to apply our cryotherapy from the underside so you can watch it freeze full thickness. In some instances when it's really tight, you must approach it from the overside and twist the tissue to watch it freeze underneath. We're doing double layer closure with Tenon's fascia first. Often we'll place two or three of these Tienon's fascia sutures to recreate the natural appearance of the conjunctiva at the limbus. Then we place our epithelial sutures to cosmetically recreate the ocular surface. We place fibrin glue over the stitches and they wear pressure dressing for two days. This concludes the surgical management of conjunctival nevus.